given that it was released on PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 before a PS4 and Xbox One release, it's perhaps not surprising that Grand Theft Auto V has sold gangbusters. But among the sales figures and data that Rockstar Games has just released, we also got a reconfirmed date for the PS5, Xbox Series X and S version of the game. Rockstar says it's the best-selling game of the decade in the US, and it's coming to the new consoles on November 11 this year. Furthermore, it has reached a billion dollars in retail sales, which is faster than any entertainment release in history. GTA V has sold over 150 million units to date, and that's before the game even hits the PS5 and Xbox Series X. Overall, the entire GTA series has sold over 350 million units. The online component, Grand Theft Auto Online, has apparently received over 40 updates and is constantly evolving, and while it's free with every copy of GTA V, there's a standalone version of the online mode launching on the same date as the new console edition on November 11. This follows on from the standalone release of Red Dead Online, which came out in December 2020. Speaking of Red Dead Redemption 2, that game was the second best-selling title in the US in the past three years, having sold over 38 million units with the series to date just under 60 million worldwide. Both Red Dead Redemption and Grand Theft Auto V have been included in Xbox Game Pass as well, but GTA V is actually leaving the service this month. As for Red Dead, it's only the online mode that's currently in Game Pass, while the full game is part of PlayStation Now until the start of November. For more on all things Rockstar related and for what's new and what's next, head to NME.com.